back uh, from the executive session, and I'll entertain a motion to adjourn finance. Okay, council came out of executive session at 7.22 p.m., and I will make a motion to adjourn the finance committee. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. So, Jerry, are we ready to move on? Okay, this time I'd like to call the February 13th, 2023 council meeting to order. If you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Will the clerk please call the roll? Hazel time. Lamb. Here. Rose. Here. Shields. Here. Simpson. Here. Coin. Here. 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 Reading of the minutes. Mr. President. Mr. Shields. I move that the minutes of the regular meeting of January 23rd, 2023, as prepared and submitted by the clerk, be approved. Second. Any discussion on the approval of the minutes? Will the clerk please call the roll on the approval of the minutes? Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coin. Yes. Hare. Yes. Motion passes 6 0. Reports of standing committees. The Finance Committee met prior to Council this evening and will again meet in two weeks. Health, Safety, and Sanitation. Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we're hoping to have, I haven't had a chance to talk to Chief Kinney yet, but I think he'll probably agree. Uh, we're hoping to have a Health, Sanitation, Safety, Health, Safety, and Sanitation meeting on the 27th prior to our uh, finance committee meeting, uh, just to go over updates with what they expect to be happening in their prospective departments this year. Thank you. Thank you. Public properties, Mr. Shields. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Simpson, you might have beat me to, uh, I know Mr. Worley and I are trying to schedule public properties and we had looked at maybe before our, before a council meeting, but we'll defer to you on this next one and we'll figure out another, but public properties, no report this evening, but we are working on okay. scheduling a meeting. Thank you. Special legislation, Mr. Lamb. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I have no report, um, but I have said at a couple of meetings that I would schedule, uh, start scheduling meetings because I have a lot, in, we have a lot in committee. Um, but I had some things come up that, that uh, occupied more time than I thought, so I, I, I sent a, an email to um, Councilman Rose and Hazeltine, let them know I'm going to give them dates so we can start to, start to get going on the issues. Thank you. Thank you. Streets and sidewalks, Ms. Hare. Thank you, Mr. President. No report and no meeting scheduled at this time. Thank, Thank you. you. Emerging technologies, Mr. Rose. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have uh, no report, no meeting scheduled for our committee, but the advisory <coughs> committee is having a meeting on the 30th of March. And uh, don't forget to fill out the electric car survey uh, on the link after, off the uh, city website. Thank you. Request for council action. We have several for finance. We have 2333 budget amendments. 2334, amend PO 23609 account number. 2335, bids for the 2023 equipment and general pavement services. 2336, bids for the job number 1144, 2023 concrete street repair. 2337, bids for jo uh, job number 1145, 2023 concrete pavement joint ceiling. 2338, request for ARPA funding for the airport apron pavement replacement. 2339, amend PO 21. 1359, Vendor Medina County Sanitary Engineers. 2340, 2023 Carry Forward Request Ordinance. 2341, bids for the self-contained breathing apparatus, SCBA for the fire department. 2342, Certified Local Government Grant, Ohio Historic Preservation Office. And 2343, Expenditure for the Signal Service for the Service Department. Reports of Minister Officers, Mayor Hamill. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. The annual four days chaplain service was held Tuesday, February 7th at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. I'd like to thank St. Paul's for hosting as well as uh, Councilman at Large Paul Rose and Medina, Medina Municipal Court Judge Gary Werner, uh, who attended with me. Uh, tomorrow, February 14th at 9 a.m., uh, I've been asked to do an interview with Cleveland's National Public Radio uh, about the Medina community. Uh, for those that may be interested in listening in on the interview, you may go to the website www.ideastreamaltogether.org and then there's a, a button to press to listen live uh, or you can also go to the FM station 89.7 which 
WKSU and do the same. Um, I'm honored to be invited uh, for the interview. It's only supposed to last 15 to 20 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then two upcoming events on Tuesday, February 21st from uh, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Foundry Social, the Second Baptist Church and Sister Circle of Medina is having a first responders appreciation night uh, at the Foundry. And this was, <coughs> event was graciously sponsored by the Stevenson Foundation. And then last but not least, on Thursday, February 23rd, at 7 p.m., the American Association of University Women will host the 21st annual Black History Month program at Fellowship Baptist Church, located at 901 West Liberty Street. And this year's program is titled The Struggles and Triumphs of African American Physicians, and the event is open to the public. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Durham, Director of Finance. Thank you, Mr. President. I just have my usual reminder that the city of Medina had, does have an income tax. So if you are a city resident and you weren't aware of that, you are now. Um, Rita collects the income tax for us. That's the re regional income tax agency there uh, at www.rita-ohio.com. Um, and you can get the forms and everything you need to file there. Thank you, Mr. Huber, Law Director. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report. Chief Kenny, Police Department. Thank you, Mr. President. We still have a limited supply of steering wheel locks for Kia and Hyundai vehicles. The requirements are that you are a city Medina or a Lafayette Township resident and that your Hyundai or Kia is started with a key rather than a push button start. The push buttons are not eligible for this program. The locks are being distributed due to the increase in vehicle theft incidences involving those two brands of vehicles. The lock devices have been provided by Hyundai and Kia at no cost to the police department. All you need to do is come to the lobby and request those locks. And there is uh, a limited supply, so they won't last forever. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Patton, City Engineer. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just a reminder, our West Smith and Prospect Street projects are under construction. Uh, their local access is being maintained. Detours <coughs> have been set up as necessary. And we appreciate uh, everyone's patience and understanding. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lastuka. Municipal Court. Thank you, Mr. President. No new report this morning. This Thank evening. You. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Piccoli, Service Director. Thank you, Mr. President. With the re recent break in weather, our, our crew's been uh, using the camera that we purchased, that Council approved, and then the um, uh, jetting of storm sewers uh, where our problematic areas are, so we're getting a good jump on that at least. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Willie, Parks and Recreation Director. Thank you, Mr. President. Just a couple updates uh, from the rec center. Uh, we recently opened registration for our summer camp that takes place uh, from June 5th through August 11th and runs for 10 weeks. Uh, we have three different uh, camps going on. We have Discover Camp, which is for children ages 6 to 12. We have a half-day preschool camp for children ages 3 to 5 and half-day specialty camps for children 6 to 12, uh, covering all sorts of um, activities like fitness, soccer, art, volleyball, basketball, tennis, and flag football. This coming Friday, the 17th, we are hosting a parents night out uh, Valentine's Day dance from 5.30 to 10 p.m. for children ages 6 to 13. Registration is still available uh, at medinarec.org. And then yesterday, Sunday, we hosted our first ever indoor triathlon. And biathlon, we had a total of 72 participants registered and many volunteers who uh, volunteered their time to help make the event a success. I wanted to congratulate all the participants as well as uh, thank all of our staff uh, who were involved with organizing the event. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gladys, building official. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report. Thank you, Chief Walters, Fire Department. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report. Thank you, uh, Mr. Dutton, Planning and Community Development Director. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, a few months ago, Council authorized staff to solicit an award at RFP for our multi-use plan. Um, we received a number of proposals for the project uh, and have selected a company called Envision out of the Cleveland area. Um, they've done a number of projects that are similar in Avon and New Philadelphia, and uh, they also did the Plum Creek Greenway plan, which is the south side of Brunswick leading out into the county, so we're excited to get started on that project. Thank you. Thank you. Notice this communication. Petitioners are on, on, on for this business. We have Ordinance 1823. Mr. President. Mr. Shields. I move that Ordinance 18-23 be read by title only and put on the floor for discussion as a second reading this evening. Second. 
Thank you. Ordinance 1823 is an ordinance rezoning the property located at south of Lafayette Road and west of Industrial Parkway, parcel number 02819C17041, from an I-1 industrial to an R3 high-density urban residential. Uh, Mr. Dutton, do you just want to give a quick update on this again, a short uh, synopsis? Uh, sure, yes, this is the rezoning from I-1 to R-3. Uh, it's property just south of the existing Brookdale Mobile Home Park on Lafayette Road uh, to the west of Industrial Parkway. Um, the intent of the proposal was to expand the Mobile Home Park to the south, kind of behind the industrial area. It was heard by our Planning Commission in November. They recommended approval. Uh, we also had a public hearing on January 9th in which we received no public comments. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next, we have introduction of visitors. Members of the public were permitted the opportunity to speak on any issue of concern which pertains to the city during the portion of the council agenda devoted to the introduction of visitors. All comments will be directed to the chair in a reasonable time limit of approximately five minutes will be imposed. If there's a group, please appoint a spokesperson. Speakers should approach the rear microphone and state their name and address so it can be entered in the minutes. If there are uh, members of the public will be afforded the opportunity to comment on other portions of the meeting as is determined by the chair or by a, a vote of the majority of council members present. Is there anybody that wishes to address council at this time? We have a packed audience today, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, introduction and consideration of ordinances resolutions. Um, at this time, I entertain a motion to suspend the rules requiring three readings on the following ordinances resolutions. Ordinance 2423, 2523, 2623, 2723, 2823, 2923, 3023, 31. 23, 32, 23, 33, 23, 34, 23, 35, 23, 36, 23, resolution 37, 23, and ordinance 38, 23. Mr. President. Mr. Shields. I'll make a motion to suspend the rules requiring three readings of, of tonight's ordinance and, and resolutions. Second. Any discussion on the motion to suspend the rules on three readings? Will the clerk please call the roll on a motion to suspend the rules on three readings? Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coyne. Yes. Hare. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Motion passes 6 0. Ordinance 2423, an ordinance amending part 3, sections 301, 351, 353 of the codified ordinances of the City of Medina, Ohio, pertaining to public parking lots, garages, parking regulations. Moved to approve, sorry. Second. Discussion, Mr. Dutton. Uh, thank you. Yes, this is a ordinance that deals with uh, a couple of uh, different topics for our public parking. First, it creates some just general regulations for our city lots and garages that the city engineer basically administers and oversees the lots. Uh, and the mayor is able to place time restriction on lots and other uh, requirements. Uh, the second part is a parking permitting program for residents that live in the downtown area of either historic district or historic landmark. Uh, with the permit allows them to uh, exceed any time requirements in public lots or garages. It doesn't designate a spot or uh, allow uh, anything like that. Uh, I'll note that it was uh, recently amended uh, to section 351.15C uh, to just clarify that this program is only open to residents. It would not be open to anyone who's a hotel guest or motel guest or at a bed and breakfast. Thank you. Do you have any other questions or comments? Will the clerk please call the adoption? Shields. Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hare? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Ordinance 2423 passes 6 0. Ordinance 2523, an ordinance amending section 3102B6 of the Salaries and Benefits Code of the City of Medina, Ohio, relative to municipal court probation grant positions. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Shields? The emergency clause has been requested. I move to add at this time. My second includes the emergency clause. Discussion on the emergency clause and or the ordinance. Cindy? Thank you, Mr. President. This is just to, both of these positions are funded through the CCA and JRIG grants. We just want to bring their salaries up to the same amount as what we're paying the other probation officers at this time. And the emergency clause? Oh, is because the court has already authorized the increases back on January 1st, and we have one person who's just waiting for this to go through so we can get her retro all the way back from January. Thank you. Any further discussion or comment on the ordinance and or the emergency clause? Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the emergency clause. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hare? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Motion passes 6 0. Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the ordinance? Coyne? Yes. Hare? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Ordinance 2523 passes 6 0. Ordinance 2623, an ordinance authorizing the payment of $30,000 to Main Street Medina for the city's 2023 membership renewal. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mayor Hamill. 
Thank you, Mr. President. I'd respectfully ask council to uh, authorize this. We've been, uh, the city and our businesses in the downtown historic district have been greatly benefited by the uh, Main Street program. Uh, I know they were here for the finance committee meeting to uh, share the numbers and, and um, the generation of revenue by bringing in outside folks. And I'd also uh, just mention that we've been at full occupancy for 12 plus years now downtown. Any further discussion or comment? I just want to say that, yeah, we've been doing Main Street. I remember when it was first adopted many years ago, and of course the, the downtown has flourished and the events have flourished, and we've become a, a, a real attraction in Northeast Ohio, and I think that's great. It says a lot about our community and the ability to come together and use our major asset, the square, for the events that we have, and I think we're able to share our, our the beauty of our square, our historic nature of our square with many members around Northeast Ohio, and I think that's a, a great thing that we accomplished. Any further discussion? <clears throat> Will the clerk please color roll and adoption of the ordinance? Hare. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coyne. Yes. Ordinance 26-23 passes 6 -0. Ordinance 27-23, an ordinance authorizing the expenditure of $10,575 to the Madonna County Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, SPCA, for animal-related services for the year 2023. Moved to approve. Second. Discussion, Mr. Rose, I think this came from you. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, this number, uh, 10,575, represents a 3.5 plus a little bit of rounding over the 10.2 we gave them um, last year, 2022. Um, the SPCA does per perform a, s a service for the city in helping to keep animals off the street. Uh, they do move some animals into adoption to deal with other animals as necessary. and. Um, I think this is money well worth it. Thank you. Any further discussion? Mayor Hamlin? Uh, i just like for the public's benefit, uh, we're one of the few cities that does not have an animal control uh, person on staff. And uh, this collaboration with the uh, Society for the Protection of Cruelty to Animals uh, is, is good because it helps them uh, financially and it's good for the city because, frankly, it's, it's cheaper than having a a staff member try to do this. So we both win. Yep. Thank you. <clears throat> Any further discussion or comment? Will the clerk please color roll on the adoption of the ordinance? Lamb. Yes. Rose. <coughs> yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coin. Yes. Hare. Yes. Ordinance 2723 passes 6 -0. Ordinance 2823, an ordinance authorizing a water service connection at 4599 Ebbyville Road located in York Township. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. Piccoli. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, gentleman owner of 4599 Abbeville Road approached the service office in <coughs> December about um, acquiring a tap um, on the city mainline water main. This is York Township property. However, uh, the county doesn't provide. They're not there in front of the property, and we are across the street. Um, he's grateful for the consideration, and it'll, it'll allow him to build an ADA um, equipped home and enhance the quality of life for him and his family. So, thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Will the clerk please color roll the adoption of the ordinance? Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coin. Yes. Hare. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Ordinance 2823 passes 6 0. Ordinance 2923, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to advertise for competitive bids and award a contract to the successful bidder for a one year supply of various kinds of maintenance materials needed for the streets and water lines including but not limited to salt, the chemicals used for use in the treatment of water and water meters to be used for various departments of the city of Medina, Ohio. Move to approve. Second. Discussion, Mr. Piccoli. Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> President. Um, just as you read all the materials for water system maintenance as well as the uh, concrete stone sand for uh, service and parks, um, city served well by this, um, so we appreciate the, uh, appreciate the consideration of, of the uh, ordinance. Thank you. Any further discussion? Will the clerk please color roll and adoption of your ordinance? Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Hare? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Ordinance 2923 passes 6 0. Ordinance 3023, an ordinance adopting the City of Medina's Equal Employment Opportunity Policy. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mayor Hamill? Thank you, Mr. <coughs> President. Um, I asked Mr. Huber to put this together. The city has a long history of um, following. Uh, all the EEO uh, requirements of both the state and federal government. Uh, however, we, we realized in researching that the city had never adopted a policy through the city council. 
So although it was on our, our job descriptions and on our applications, uh, we felt it best to have it formally adopted by the council, and that's what this ordinance does. Any further discussion? Clerk, please call the roll on the adoption of your ordinance. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hare? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Ordinance 3023 passes 6-0. Ordinance 3123, an ordinance amending ordinance number 221-22, passed December 12th, 2022, amendments to the 23 budget. Moved to approve. Second. Discussion, Mr. Durham. Thank you, Mr. President. These are budget amendments. The first two are pass-throughs where we've received money, but we need to appropriate it in order to be able to spend it. And then the rest are items where we need additional appropriations to meet the needs of the city. Any further discussion? Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the ordinance? Coin. Yes. Hare. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Ordinance 3123 passes 6 0. Ordinance 3223, an ordinance authorizing the increase of the expenditure to Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company for the Sanitation Department. Moved to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Piccoli. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, our original PO was um, granted on January 9th for $15,000, and we're asking for an increase to get through the year with. Um, this ordinance, um, we have uh, recap truck tires that we get in their state bid pricing. Um, sanitation is, um, appreciates the uh, opportunity to use this company as they deliver and pick up as well. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Will the clerk please color rolling adoption of your ordinance? Hare? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? <coughs> yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Ordinance 3223 passes. Six ordinance 3323, an ordinance of the Council of the Whole of the City of Medina, Ohio, certifying that when a municipal obligation was incurred, sums were lawfully appropriated in the funds to satisfy the obligation, and sufficient sums currently exist to satisfy this obligation. Moved to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Shields. The emergency clause has been requested and moved to add at this time. Our second includes the emergency clause. Discussion on the emergency clause and the ordinance. Mr. Durham. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this is what's called a then and now. It's an expenditure that's already been made. The emergency clause is requested because it was an emergency repair to the railroad and we've already had the repair. We need to get the contractor paid. Thank you. Any further discussion on the ordinance and the emergency clause? Will the clerk please call the roll on adoption of the emergency clause? Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? <coughs> yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Hare? Yes. Motion passed the 6 0. Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of <coughs> your ordinance? Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Hare? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Ordinance 3323 passes 6 0. Ordinance 3423, an ordinance <laughs> authorizing the mayor to advertise for competitive bids and award a contract to the successful bidder for the purchase of one <coughs> Pac Mac RLM 13 series truck mounted 13 cubic yard rear loader packer body <laughs> to be mounted on the fr front <laughs> front liner M2106 conventional cabin chassis for the sanitation department. Moved to approve. Second. Mr. Piccoli, this sounds Thank you, great. Mr. President. It is. There's a, there's a lot of lot of information there. So as we talked about in finance, the vehicles, the sanitation trucks were at 32 cubic yard hopper capacity. Um, that's 20 something years ago. Then about 12 years ago, we migrated to the um, 25 cubic yard hopper. So this, what we're looking to bid, is a 13 cubic yard um, hopper garbage truck. It's um, half the size of what we have. It'll be utilized for the um, cardboard route, for the yard waste route, the recyclable materials. Um, it'll be more efficient, um, obviously less weight, wear and tear. Um, and it's under the CDL requirements uh, with respect to uh, driver endorsements. So we're hopeful um, for this uh, truck to do good things and allow us to um, operate more efficiently. And when's the estimated delivery? That we have what well, we're going to bid, so we're not sure. We're hopeful by fall, okay. end of summer, is what right. we're hearing. But it'll have to be built and mounted on mm -hmm. a, a chassis that you were just read. Yep. Okay. Any other Thank questions? Clerk, please call the rolling adoption of your ordinance. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Hare? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Ordinance 3423 passes 6 0. Ordinance 3523, an ordinance authorizing the payment to Dunlop and Johnson, Inc. for the work performed at the Medina County Better Women's Shelter as part of the CDBG Target of Opportunity grant. Move to approve. Second. Discussion, Mr. Dutton? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this is a request to authorize a payment of 141000 to Dunlop and Johnson, Inc. for work. Uh, at the Medina County Better Women's Shelter as part of a CDBG Target of Opportunity Grant. Uh, this contract covers the cost of insulation of cupboards and new flooring throughout the shelter. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? 
Will the clerk please call the rolling adoption of the ordinance? Simpson. Yes. Coin. Yes. Hare. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Ordinance 3523 passes 6 0. Ordinance 3623, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to advertise for competitive bids and award a contract to the successful bidder for the construction of a fitness room addition at the Medina Community Recreation Center. Move to approve. Second. Discussion, Mr. Worley. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this is to construct approximately 1,800 square foot addition at the rec center for a fitness room. Uh, we're going to be utilizing $350,000 from a capital, capital bill grant through House Bill 687. The remaining $420,000 will come from rec center carry forward funds. And I wanted to highlight that there will be no school district funding uh, used for construction of the addition. And do you know the timing? Uh, well, we have to wait 30 days to bid this, uh, but we are hoping uh, to break ground sometime uh, May. Okay. Thank you. Any further discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Shields. Because my employer is involved in this and ultimately will benefit from this addition, I need to abstain. Any further discussion? Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the ordinance? Coin. Yes. Hare. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Abstain. Simpson. Yes. Ordinance 3623 passes five yeas, one abstention. Resolution 3723, a resolution supporting phase one of the Friends of the Cemetery Spring Grove Cemetery Entry Gate and Mausoleum Repair Project. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Worley. Thank you, Mr. President. The Friends of the Cemetery submitted a letter of intent to the city uh, to, uh, to address one of the projects that was identified in the Spring Grove Master Plan uh, 2018 to repair the entry gate and mausoleum. Uh, they're planning on doing this in two phases. The first phase will be uh, performing on-site observations uh, to document work that's required to repair the mausoleum and entry gate. Once we see those plans and uh, look at the engineer's estimate, we'll move on to phase two, but this resolution is authorizing them to move forward uh, with the project and donate the uh, architect's work to the city to the amount of $14,275. Uh, Again, I want to uh, thank the Friends of the Cemetery for their continued uh, efforts in preservation and enhancement of Spring Grove. Thank you. Any further discussion? Will the clerk please call the rolling adoption of the resolution? Hare. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Point. Yes. Resolution 3723 passes 6 0. And Ordinance 3823, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to advertise for competitive bids and award a contract to the successful bidder for the purchase of self contained breathing apparatus SCBA for the fire department. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Shields. The emergency call has been requested. I move to add at this time. My second includes the emergency clause. Discussion on the ordinance and the emergency clause. Chief Walters. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this request is to accept bids and ultimately place a order to replace the uh, SCBAs or the air packs that the firefighters wear uh, at fires and other hazardous environments. Um, they are, our current uh, SCBAs are over 16 years old at this point and no longer meet the current uh, NFPA standards. Uh, we also uh, tried to um, get an award from FEMA, a grant award last year. We were unsuccessful with that. And we're requesting the emergency clause because we've been experiencing a number of uh, electrical failures that control the safety systems in our existing PACs. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion on the emergency clause and or the ordinance? Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the emergency clause? Lamb. Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Here? Yes. Motion passes 6 0. Will the clerk please call the roll on the adoption of the ordinance? Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Here? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Ordinance 3823 passes 6 0. Council comments? Yes, sir. Sir, you raise your hand fast. That's good. Yeah, I know I got to beat him. <laughs> So tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and even if you don't have a significant other to celebrate with, tomorrow's a good reminder to let your family and friends know that you love them and what they mean to you. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone, and have a good day. And I also want to take this opportunity to remind the community that this weekend is Ice Festival on the Square, which is an excellent uh, event, 
and I'm looking forward to going and bringing uh, friends from out of town to see uh, our beautiful square and what the artists come up with. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> My wife and I had the honor of attending a memorial service for Freddie Ruffner a couple days ago. And uh, for those of you that have been in Medina for a long time, uh, as I have, uh, you would probably remember Freddie. He was a mentally disabled man that uh, had to walk tens, if not hundreds of thousands of miles between the south side of Medina to the north side of Medina every single day. He, when he passed away, he was 84 years old. He lived a good, long life. Uh, Freddie was, uh, uh, again, he was mentally, mentally challenged. <clears throat> he didn't speak much to people. Uh, he spoke a lot to himself, and when he walked down the streets, uh, he had a, a, a vocabulary that included a lot of cursing, but not at anybody. Uh, he was just speaking in general. Uh, when you did take time to stop and say hello to him, he would respond, usually just by smiling and putting his head down. Uh, his life was dedicated to one year a week a year, and that was the Medina County Fair. Uh, he would he would work odd jobs. Uh, one being when when the uh, uh, at the fairgrounds when the <coughs> barns on the the east side of the fairgrounds used to be occupied by horse owners that raced at either Northfield Park or or Thistledown Park. Uh, a few months before the fair every year, they would have Freddie come in and he would clean the stalls. He was a hard worker. At the fair, like I said, he lived for the fair. Uh, between the fair board, the Medina County Sheriff's Department, and when the police department used to cover the fair too, they always looked out for Freddie. And in fact, I believe it was Sheriff Hassinger uh, made him an honorary sheriff deputy and, and gave him a, a Medina County Sheriff uh, pullover shirt. Uh, and he was just a unique individual. I remember as a young man going to Medina Theater, uh, when you saw Freddie walking around town, he usually was carrying a large picture of Elvis Presley because that was his hero. And when I was a kid, which I'm telling my age, and they'd, they'd have uh, Elvis Presley movies on at Medina Theater, you would see Freddie and his friend Tommy who Freddie didn't speak to too much, one, because Tommy was a deaf mute. I believe his last name was either Garner or Carver. Again, a nice young man, you know, and he would acknowledge, when you'd say hi, he could read lips, he would, he would, he would say nod his head back. But at Medina Theater, uh, I witnessed a couple times Jim Shields' father, Charlie, who was a part-time projectionist at the theater, would pay for Fred and Tom to go in and watch the movie. Uh, and then I would see Mr. and Mrs. Petagala that managed the theater. Uh, they would, you would see them buy Fred and, and Tom popcorn. Now they would sit close by because they'd have to keep reminding Freddie to be quiet. Uh, but yeah, he was a unique individual. And the reason I'm telling this story, not only because Freddie was a, a staple of Medina, <clears throat> that I also witnessed as a, as a young man different times where you hear bullying in school. It went on back then too, back when I was a kid. And I, I, I remember the police department on several occasions that I witnessed, so I don't know how many times that happened that I didn't witness, where there'd be a group of usually teenagers that were trying to make fun and bully Freddie. And the police department would, would uh, always stop, the few times that I saw it, it would stop. Uh, Freddie would never stop, he'd just keep walking, but they would take the individuals that were bullying Freddie, put them in the back of the cruiser, and drive them home, which back then, it was more of a problem to be taken home by the police and what happened after you got home than actually the ride home by the police, because back then you were more afraid of your parents than <laughs> you were of the police. So. Uh, Freddie was a unique individual, reminding people, just because somebody's different, uh, respect them, be kind to them. And I, it also brings me to the point, and I, I, will, I will be brief here, I promise. <laughs> and the mayor laughs at me there. <laughs> uh, 
Back then, I'm talking back in the 60s and early 70s now, the police didn't have much mental health training, but they did look out for Freddie, and I'm sure other people that were, you know, comparable to, to, to Freddie with their uh, disabilities. But there's been a lot of recent, over the last few years, of, of news, uh, art, uh, programs on the news or articles in the paper about uh, police reform. Uh, and I had a 40-year career of working in public service, and I had the opportunity to work for those 40 years with the police department. I worked with Mayor Hanwell when he was the police chief. Uh, and now, when an officer's hired in the city of Medina, the residents, I'm hoping the ones that are watching, I don't think you realize how much time and effort is made to, when they hire a police officer for the background checks, for psychological testing, uh, and just an array of things before somebody's hired. And the policies and procedures within the police department that, that ensures that our citizens, you know, we, we, we hire a police officer and they, number one, they're there to, to protect the laws that are on the books from the city of Medina and the state of Ohio. And they do a good job about that. Nobody likes to be stopped for speeding or not wearing a seatbelt or for whatever reason. But that's what we hired them to do. But they go beyond, beyond that. They go out to dog barking complaints. They go out to when, when the children aren't behaving at home and the parents have a hard time handling unruly children. They go out to that. They, you know, they do welfare checks when somebody can't get a hold of a, a, a family member. They go out and they check on those. One of the most important things that they do uh, is they work with the, the EMS and the fire department, and they go to when somebody has a medical emergency. They're usually, because they're on the road, they're usually the first ones on the scene, and they've had extensive training not only in how to use the, uh, do CPR and use the automatic defibrillator, but they also are trained in bleeding control, and they're extensively con trained in mental health issues, how to deal with mental health issues, how to de-escalate whether somebody's having a mental health issue or just under the influence of alcohol or drugs, how to de-escalate instead of escalating a problem. And I can remember on several different occasions, Mr. Huber, when we were talking talked about renewing, the, purchasing new body cameras. And he says, you know, the few times that we do get complaints from the community about the police, I invite them in and we watch the footage from the body camera. And when they watch the, fi the footage, either the family member or the person that was arrested, the complaint goes away because they realize that the police officers did nothing wrong. Uh, so with everything that's going on, when you see a police officer, wave to them, say hi to them. They're out there for us, and they do a good job. Uh, that's it, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. I know I went on too long. No, 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 you're fine. Yeah, any other council comments? Mr. Rose? Uh, Ms. Hare and Mr. Simpson stole what I was gonna say. Okay. <laughs> thank you, anything else? Uh, hearing none, council is adjourned.